Okay, here we are at the uh, social plugins, and um, for this video we're going to show you how to install a Facebook like button and a Facebook like box onto an HTML or CSS uh, website. So my website for Instant Fall Asleep right here is uh, HTML based, so I'm going to show you how to install a uh, like button and box onto this website. So the difference, uh, very quickly, a like button here it lets users share pages from from your site back to their their profile. So they click like, and it says, uh, you know, Reese Richards likes this uh, likes instantlyfallasleep.com. Okay, and it has a little little picture of your logo um, or and some information about that uh, page. Okay, and a like box. Um, enables the users to, to like your Facebook page. So as soon as they click that, then they become a fan or a liker of your, your Facebook business page. Okay, So you want to have both of these onto your site. And uh, depending on your site, you might want to have extra. But the, the process is exactly the same for, for each of these. Okay, So the two that I like are the button and the, the box. So we'll start off with the button. Okay, If we scroll down to... Uh, URL to like wants to be your home page and include a send button or not the layout style you can change you know um, there's three different versions okay I like the standard uh, I don't like to show people's faces and you can play around with these there's a like or recommend color scheme and you can change the font if you'd like uh, I'm okay with the it shows what it looks like up here okay I'm okay with that look I want to get code so again we want to we're gonna have to copy and paste both of these sets of code onto our website so I'm going to go into um, an HTML editor and if you're unfamiliar with this, uh, just ask your ask your website designer to do this. Um, so you want to place that code after the first body tag. Okay, there's the first body tag. It doesn't have a, a backslash on it. Okay, it should be right after the head tag. So I just want to paste it there. Okay, then I'm going to go back, and I want to now copy this portion. Okay, and basically this code sets it up on your page, and this code here, the second one, is where you want the actual button um, to appear on your page. Okay, so let's go back, and I want it to appear on the bottom of my page. Okay, after the person has has finished reading. Okay, so I know that this ends it. Here's to your sleeping success. So I'm going to put it, I'm just going to put a little break tag here, and then I'm going to enter the code there. I'm just going to paste it, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and upload this to my site, and then I will show you what the result is. Um, you can use an, an FTP client file transfer protocol. If you're not sure what that is, uh, again, don't worry about it. Either uh, outsource it to somebody or get your web designer um, to do it for you if you have one. Um, if you've... Uh, built your website yourself, then I'm sure you, you realize what an FTP client is. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video. I'll be back in one second. Okay, so I've added the um, Facebook like button to the bottom, and here you go. You can see it on the, on the page. So when I click that, then it will show on my profile that I like instantly fall asleep. Okay, so um, just to give you an example of what this looks like, you can enter a friend, a group, or an email address. So you can send this to a friend on uh, Facebook, a group on Facebook, or just an individual email address, and then you can type in a, a message here as well, and they take this from your description um, in your website. Okay, so I'll cancel that, and I'll just show you um, the like button here. And then you go, it says researchers and 31 others like this and I, I like sleep okay and post to Facebook so 
if we start a new tab over here and find my Facebook page or profile. Okay. Uh, bad image that it took, but uh, here it is. Okay, here's the the link. 13 seconds ago. I like sleep. Okay, and then you can see that obviously on my on my timeline. Okay, and uh, I'm going to do the same thing for the like box so I'm gonna come back here and go to social plugins and it's the exact same process um, for the the like box we the box again uh, likes your Facebook page and we don't need to include the first set of code so I'm gonna fix this I don't want the faces I don't want the stream I just want the header I'm going to get code I don't need this first one here. Okay, I just need this one where I want to put it on my website. So um, again, this one here, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to go in and show you how how to insert it into your HTML. Um, if you have and you know how to use uh, includes, then you can go ahead and include this, uh, put this into an includes file, which will show up on every one of your pages. Okay, so. Um, if you don't know how to use an, in, uh, you don't know what an includes file is, um, then just ask your your webmaster uh, or outsource it. Um, so I'm just going to pause the video for a second here and then come back and I will show you what this looks like uh, when it. So it will have this tag right here on top. Okay, what this looks like right here on your website. Okay, so here we are at the my website. And as you can see, it looks all pretty up in the corner here. You can see instantly fall asleep. And I've already liked it. So it says you like this. Okay. Uh, and then if you scroll down, you will see again here uh, the like and send button as well at the bottom of the text. Okay. So that's how you upload your Facebook social plugins to an HTML CSS based website. Okay. I'll see you in the next video.